So you're thinking about going to Download Festival 2023. Um, in this video, I kind of assume you've already bought your ticket. Um, I'm just going to go over a few things, basically what you can bring, what you can't bring, what you definitely should bring. Um, yeah, let's do it. So Download Festival is notorious for either being boiling out and sunny and you're going to get sunburned or completely just a, a massive washout. Um, I've done a few drone loads, 2012, 2019. Um, we were all there, uh, 2019, and yeah, we had a great time, but the weather was really shit. We need deep in mud. Um, and a lot of people actually end up leaving the festival early because their tents got flooded. Uh, they didn't bring the white uh, waterproofs, um, the right footwear, that kind of thing. Um, and it did ruin a lot of people's festival. And these festivals are expensive, so you don't want that happening to you. Um, me and the boys were generally alright. Um, I think Craig had to buy new waterproofs, but other than that, the rest was so sweet. Um, so what I can't stress enough is always look, keep an eye on the weather, uh, on the weather forecast, and just you know prepare for each scenario. If it's going to be boiling or not, bring sun cream, bring plenty of water, um, a hat. I always been when I do the walk, I always completely go off on one and I end it. Doing it, um, that happens every year, even in the the wet years. Um, yeah, if it's the other side, and it's going to be another down drown load festival, as we like to call it. Uh, yeah, just bring the white, the the right uh, wearies, uh, loads of different pairs of socks, um, warm clothes because it, it does get cold as well uh, in the wet weather. But yeah, that highly stressed. Just look at the weather forecast and just prepare. Um, because otherwise you're just going to have a shit time and you're not going to enjoy yourself. Um, but yeah. Now my first ever festival I made this mistake right and I didn't bring um, a camping chair, which is really, really stupid. I ended up sitting on a, a pack of cans, which was, as the festival was going on, I was getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I wasn't really that comfortable. Luckily enough, uh, it was a dry festival because I can't imagine sitting on the floor at a wet festival. Uh, yeah, so highly recommend you bring a chair. Um, what me and the boys use are these boys, these little boomy foldable little compact chairs. You've got two little handles so you can clip them onto your bag um, and they're really, really, really good. I think they're like 40 quid on Amazon. Um, these have done us, first time I used this at the festival was the 2021 pilot festival, now in 2023. Been used to trees, um, they're really, really good. Cannot recommend these boys enough. Um, yeah, but. You can get a regular camping chair for 20 quid. Do the same job. We just use these because they're more compact. Another thing you should definitely bring is bedding. Um, whether it's just like a simple roll mat to keep you off the floor because you need something to keep you insulated. Um, apparently you lose more heat through the floor than you do the air uh, just because it's a lot more colder. Um, it, it does really make a difference. Um, and make sure you have an half decent sleeping bag as well with a really good tog rating. Um, what I use is, I don't go for the roll mat anymore because I like a bit more comfort, so I'm, I use this. It's really compact, it's really small. Um, it's a little inflatable little roll mat that um, comes with a, a pillow as well, which is really, really handy. I um, got off at Amazon for like, I think it's like 40 quid or something. Um, but they're, they're really, 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 really good. Um, and this brand as well, you can pop it together and you can make like a little double thing, which uh, we use the trees, which is good. Um, but no, highly recommend one of these if you're looking for a bit more comfort, but you don't have to get one. A simple roll mat will do, it's just something to keep you off the floor. Um, I mean, a, a pillow I just brought from home as well will completely do. It's just personal preference at that point, really. So, download this year is a five day festival with four days of bands, so you'll be spending a lot more time in the arena. Um, only problem is if you're a drinker, um, you're looking six, seven, possibly eight pounds a pint. Um, and then I think it was about 30 pound for a bottle of wine last year, um, which stings a bit. Um, but yeah, so you'll generally spend more money in the arena. Uh, you can't bring booze into the arena with you, um, but you can buy any. What me and the boys tend to do is we, because uh, you can bring booze into the campsite in the village, we bring a couple of crates with us um, and then uh, a bottle, of, like two or three bottles of spirits and some mixer. Um, and that does us right the way through from when we start drinking in the day um, all the way through to uh, the doghouse and the rock DJ sets afterwards. Um, 
yeah, you can't bring glass on site. It's completely glass to site. Uh, if you get caught with a glass bottle, you'll, you'll get it taken off you. Um, which is a shame if you've got like a £20 bottle of vodka or something. Um, but yeah, just make sure you decant all your glass um, bottles into plastic bottles and you should be fine. You can get through that with no problem. Um, I think it's just a, a big safety issue. But uh, yeah, as long as everything's decanted, you won't have a problem. Um, yeah, but it's a bit kind of personal preference what you bring. I don't think there's any limit on what you can bring as long as you can justify it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. What I always bring to Download Festival or any festival, because uh, it's a must have, is wet wipes. You sleep in rough uh, in a tent for three, four, five days, whatever it is. Um, and yeah, you need to look after yourself. So bring a pack of wet wipes. Wet wipes are man's best friend. Wet wipe wash in the morning. Um, there are showers and stuff, and you can buy a shower pass. Um, we never really do. I mean, Craig went one year and he said it, 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 looked, it, it looked really grim. So. We just never bothered. Uh, a wet white wash is fine. Uh, bring a thing, a little bottle of water, or buy a bottle of water from the shop in the morning because um, there's a co-op on site. Um, just have a, a jungle wash. That's what we do and we don't really smell. You can bring aerosols. Um, yeah, uh, aerosols, smellies, all that kind of stuff. That's no problem. Uh, bring toothbrush, toothpaste, basic hygiene stuff. Um, I don't know, I don't bring makeup, but girls can bring makeup, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, just stuff that will make you fresh after, you know, one, two, three, four, five days um, in a field listening to rock and metal music. Uh, yeah. Another thing you should really bring is a tent. Uh, that's kind of self-explanatory. Um, I can't really put my tent up here and show you, so um, I've had to go somewhere else. So, yeah, that's going to be in the next clip. Right, so uh, here's my tent. So it's uh, Ozark Trail, two person, 1500 hydrostat head rating. It's a little two person cheap thing. I think I got it from like 20 quid from Asda. Um, but it does a job if you go into a festival, uh, especially just by yourself. So generally rule of thumb is you want to use a person for yourself and then a person for all your stuff. So if you're going on your own, two person's fine because you can have a bit for you and a bit for all the gear you can bring, all your booze, all that kind of stuff. If you it's two of you, probably go for a four man, just because you just want an extra space and just be comfortable. But uh, yeah, so that's that, I just gotta put it up. Yeah, so this uh, this tent's actually uh, done two festivals now, it's done Download 2022 and it's done 2,000 trees as well, so fair play to it. Right, here she is, she's not pegged down yet, so it's a little bit ropey, sure you almost blew away already. But um, yeah, so she's two person, um, she's single skin, so um, it's all right if you're kind of like it's a little summer festival and the weather's half decent if it's raining slightly you should be all right but like anything more than that you're going to want something a bit more waterproof than this maybe even a double skin uh anything usually anything with 3000 hydrostatic area is a kind of good kind of like base marker the four person that me and sean are on um and we took to treats is a four Four thousand five hundred hydrostatic hydros, hydrostatic head, so that's a lot more waterproof, and it's double skin as well, so you're pretty much guaranteed to stay dry in that. Um, this though is just a little cheapy kind of like goes up and down in five minutes, and it's it's pretty pretty basic, but it does the job. Um, so as you can see, you enough space in there for you and your stuff. I just kind of usually lie down here, and then the bag of booze, my. Um, chair when I'm not using it goes in here as well and um, it's just really a place to crash um, yeah so if you're going on your own to a festival this is a perfect little little tent um, if you are planning on bringing this you'll need a and it's a, a bit wetter you're gonna need something like a bit of extra help I usually bring a top hole in like a builder's top hole in and just chuck it over the top um, but yeah that's, that's pr pretty much it um, yeah, all in all, that with the top on is going to cost you 40 quid, maybe even less. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. See ya. Yeah, um, that's pretty much it for me. Um, I think I've covered everything. Um, what we did, what a mistake I made with my first festival, uh, which was Sonosphere 2010, which is a while ago now, uh, is we just treated it like a regular camping holiday. And we brought way too much. We didn't treat it as like a festival kind of experience. 
Um, so always think about what you could cut back on. Um, just bring your clothes for your five days or however long you're going for. Um, your alcohol, uh, if you've done drink, you've saved a lot of weight already because um, the walks are downward and notorious, it's, it's awful. Um, bring your tent, your toiletries, your sleep-in situation um, and a camping chair and you should be fine. Uh, that's all we bring, we, we, we have a good time every year. But um, yeah, um, that's it for me. Um, if you haven't checked out uh, any of our vlogs before, um, have a look. We've done 2000 Trees, uh, we've done Download last year, the Download Pilot. Um, even though those vlogs kind of a bit ropey and a bit sketchy. Um, the ones kind of like pre-2022. Um, but yeah, I just get better at editing and stuff. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, see you down the road.